Yo Coochie got personality. <laughs> Yo Coochie got personification. <laughs> Yo Coochie got opinions. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Dropouts, episode 34. Um, Jared this week is dressed like the guy in the Pringles can. Oh, and that's okay. And that's okay. I, no one's against it. My mom told me I look handsome. You showed so her? Did someone else. Yeah, who else? Who else said maybe Don't. some what? Maybe somebody you're going to see on Valentine's Day? Maybe. Do you have a Valentine this year, Jared? Maybe. What's her first and last name and social security number? I Where can I find her right now? Any of those away. <laughs> do you love her? Zach. And we'll find out this week on the episode. <laughs> so, Hit the intro wait, wait, music. What up, you words? No, I do that after. Oh, I feel like you changed up every week. I do. Jared kissed me in my sleep. Didn't tell me, but he filmed it, so I got to see it after. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Dropouts. Um, you want to do your sick freestyle? What's up, yeah. B words? Welcome back to episode thirty-four of Dropouts. It's our Valentine's Day episode, and all of us but one couldn't be more single. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What else would it be, Jared? Well, I was trying to think all of us but one couldn't be. I don't know. It was just like a weird phrasing. and I was really trying to think through it. And it was using all of my brain power at 945 at night when we got up, when I got up at 545. Okay, morning. so let's jump into it. You're going to surprise a girl for Valentine's Day that lives in another state. <laughs> When did, when, when did you get this idea of true real? Nice if you make one. fun of me one more time, I'll jump out the window and I have no regrets. Okay. When did you get this true inspiration of romance to fly across the country to, to kiss this young woman who's above 18, right? She is above 18. Allegedly or definitely? Nope, have definitely. you seen her driver's license? I have seen her driver's you license. You asked for it? I or did you she, make an assumption? No, she just showed me. I didn't actually ask for she it. She said, "I'm definitely over 18." She said, Sick. "She said, do you want to see?" Well, it depends on the state. What state picture? is this? Ohio. And that, okay, can the, you just oh. tell the freaking story? Oh, she's over 18. We understand. I got you. My bad. Basically, I think we talked about it, that, but there was like a girl that I had gone on a couple dates with when I went back home for uh, Christmas, and it's you're the gonna same, go surprise her. It's the same girl, wow. and we have been talking since then, and uh, and yeah, I. We were just talking about Valentine's Day. Wait, so up. what if next week on the episode you have a girlfriend? I don't. I I don't know. Then I'll have just, you told her you loved her yet? No. 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 Have it's, you kissed her on the neck? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been told that's love. Anyway, I'd love to experience it one day. So we were just talking about Valentine's Day, and she's like, she's like, oh man, like I'm really bummed, like we like can't be together for Valentine's Day this year or whatever. Like, and Jared said, let me buy a ticket. He said. Bet that shit up. What are you going to do once you get there? Kiss okay. her? Yes, kiss her. <laughs> oh, no, Jared, are you going to ask for consent? Of course. Okay, then you're free to kiss her. My bad. I just want to make sure this is clear. At what point in the real... Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, do you have, when do you have to stop asking for kissing well, consent? Well, okay, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, that's what I was about for to say. For kissing consent? You yeah. always have to ask for consent for anything else. But I like to draw up a five-kiss contract. So it's like, I can kiss you five times without anything happening. And then after that, then I re-up the contract. We negotiate and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I suggest doing that. Okay. I can get a contract. notarizer here pronto. I know Please. a guy. I, I have would, a few good lawyers that. if you need one. Amazing. You got a few good moms <laughs> that you're going to see also while you're in Ohio. I am, yeah. Hi, Julie. Hi, April. They're going to pick me up from the airport. Hey, ladies, if you're free on Valentine's Day, I know there's two of you. Wait, so they'll, let you, they'll, they'll drive their car, but they won't let you drive... What? Yeah, it makes no sense. That makes no sense. They're okay, like, no. we'll come drive and pick you up from the airport that I'm sure is probably about 30 minutes away. Well, no, they, they okay, to, to explain, oh. Jared is going um, to Ohio while there is a blizzard, essentially. A, there's a pretty thick there's snowstorm. A pretty thick Vick. snowstorm. And then Vick. his mom Sorry. texts him today. It's like, hey, you can't use the car when you're here because the roads are pretty much like ice. So he can't go see his Valentine, potentially. This is a sure Valentine debacle. Yes. Yeah, so You'll figure it out, dude. I'll figure it out. I'll, you know, I'll catch get a bird. Say Valentine's goes well, whatever. A month from now, you guys are completely in love. Obviously, you want to get married. Would you do it on the podcast? Propose on the podcast? Would Whoa. I propose on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Will you marry me forever? No. No. We'd film it, though. Well, then yeah. we'd air it, but we wouldn't have it on the podcast. God, if I got proposed to on a podcast, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Wait, this is this is my plan though. Okay, right? speed it up. I already told her times two. I said I have a, a two parts like Valentine's Day surprise for you. You yeah. already told her there's a surprise. Well, I told her I, I had two things were coming to her, right? So the mm, first one of them thing, is you, big boy. Well, exactly. One Whoa. of them's me. Wait, what? Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> but the first one, I got her since it's like you know she's in Ohio, we're in California. I got her um, this little stuffed bear. That has like an LA sweatshirt. Okay. We left the window open. I can hear it's the helicopter. Freezing. Too. Um, I'm going to go turn it. I got her this little stuffed bear that has an LA hoodie. Because you're Jer Bear and then LA is where you're from. Well, LA is where I, I live. 
It's not where I'm from. India is currently struggling with the one. You She's gotta, got it, though. This is women empowerment. If we help her, that's exactly against the movement. And it's Boom. closed. Boom. That one's for Helen Keller. <laughs> oh, Atta my girl. God. So stuff bear with the L.A. hoodie on it, right? Because I'm I'm the Jer- like I'm her Because you're kind of like saying, like, hey, I want to stuff I'm you. I'm her Jer- bear. That Never that say it? that again. Shut up. I'm, I'm just. I'm her Jer- bear. If a guy ever looked at me and said, I'm your little Jer- bear, I think I'd absolutely kick him in the nuts and walk away. You would kick him in the nuts. That wow. seems just a guy trying to be cute God, and romantic. don't ever try to be cute with me. None of that cute shit. Well, if you guys end up together, all I want to say is I feel like I should be invited to the wedding. Well, I've already spoken to her, and she told me that I looked really hot tonight, so she's A1 in my, in my, <laughs> in my book. She's got Indy's vote of approval. Anyways, but the uh, but the Jer Bear, I was able to customize it for free, and so, like, stitched on the back, it says Jer Bear on it. The, That's I, Cute. I thought that was cute, right? <laughs> so that's being delivered. It on makes sense for you, but exactly. no one else. I, uh, so that's being delivered on Thursday, hopefully. Um, and then I'm going to, when I get there, like Friday, I'm going to call her and be like, hey, the second part of your surprise is delivered like on your front porch because she doesn't have class on Friday. And then she's going to open the door and see me. And then she's going to. Isn't that funny how we surprise people with ourselves? Like, hey, the, hey! hey, what if she's like. <laughs> Sick. Did you bring chocolates? <laughs> no, but like, do you well, know, you should stop buying get flowers. Yeah, I was gonna get like flowers and. But do you uh, know what's chocolates. do you know what's funny? It's like, I mean, I'm guilty of it. I do it. I do it a lot. Like, it's like surprise. I'm here. Oh yeah, she does that on every trip. Any trip Jared and I go on, she's like, I'm not going. And, and then, then like I'm a like, day hey. in, she's like, I'm here. <laughs> what's up? And we're I like, made it on the New York trip though. You almost you did back out for a second because well, I had work. That wasn't because I. Wasn't didn't want to go. Just on the topic of surprises, I my grandpa turned eighty three years old this week, and uh, I. Speaking of which, sorry, I want to play you that voicemail. Yeah, here play after I. uh, So I flew to Vegas for my grandpa's eighty third birthday. I thought this would be a big grand surprise um, because he didn't expect to see me. I get there and he opens the door and he's like, "What's up?" And I was like, "Hey, I'm here, like for your (laughs) birthday." He's like, "Cool, what's for dinner?" I'm like, "Thought you'd be a little bit more stoked." And then um, he stayed all for an hour. You know, I flew to see him for a couple of days. He stayed for an hour and said, I got to walk my dog and went home. And um, I didn't see him again on that trip. Are you serious? Yeah. So I went there just for him. I feel like he left a longer voicemail than he was with you. And then Indy called him and then he's... He was freaked out and excited to talk to her. Listen. Indiana, Larry, uh, Zach's um, grandpa. (laughs) You had to think about that. Anyway, do let you know I got your message and I thank you very much. Hope all is well with your finger. I can't imagine the pain you're in. Uh, I can take pain, but I don't know if I could do that. You're the uh, you're strong. Okay, you take well, you take care and get well with your finger. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, he's 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 the cutest. Um, but so cute. The just the beginning. Hey, Indiana's Larry Zach's grandpa grandfather whatever, whatever. <laughs> he's like he's like i know i'm pretty sure the kids in my lineage he says, uh, whatever okay so he comes over for dinner and we're like talking about valentine's day or whatever and then my mom recently ended it with her uh, like fiance of like 10 years eight years 10 years and my grandpa just goes hey gina you know what you know what's coming up and she's like what he's like valentine's day and you're not getting a thing from it <laughs> and, and i was like Grandpa, God. That's, that's the thing we can't say right now. She's obviously <gasps> vulnerable. He's like, ha, ha, ha. And I said, okay. Sounds like you. Sounds like you. Yeah, he could not read the room in that moment. And I don't think he was sorry. He was just like, yeah, well, that's what happens. No, no. As like an old person, like you just don't care at that point. You're yeah, just like, you lived 83 years on this earth. You don't give a damn care about a thing in this Oh, world. yeah. Like when he brought his girl over and like his, his old girlfriend, I feel like I've said this before, but she was like, Sometimes I get lonely at my apartment. And he's like, if you ever feel lonely, uh, call me. I'll be there. And like said it in like a sexual way. And she's like, oh, you're such a jokester. And he said, call me. See if I'm joking. Whoa. I said, go. Gra- you didn't know that story, Jared? Well, I'm reacting to it because it's a podcast. Okay, I just, Indy. You reacted well enough for me to believe that. My grandpa works out like three, four times a week. He's ready. To, he's ready to go. That thing's still working, you know. Oh, OK. <laughs> what? Moving past it. My grandpa could pipe. <laughs> nice. All right. You want to talk about your finger? Oh, yeah. Right, my finger. This was yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. 
you guys went over to Taylor Holder's house. Yeah, so um, a few of our friends went over to Taylor Holder's for Super Bowl. He had like a really big screen set up outside, whatever. I'm not from the US, as you all know, as I bring up pretty much every f-ing episode because it's my excuse for everything. But I don't know how to throw a football or catch one or the concept of football. Remember we were watching the game on New Year's – it was New Year's Day or New Year's Eve with your brother, and yeah. I was like getting him to explain the concept of football. I was like, wait – why are they tackling each other? Wait, why are, <laughs> why they, are they tackling each other? What's going on? Oh, regardless, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. regardless, I don't know how to do anything. And I was like, Jared, let's throw the football. And, I, and he was like, okay. Like, and he was teaching me how to throw the football. I've got extremely long nails right now. As we know from, I think it was last episode, I was explaining how I was too nervous to get them to cut them down, right? Mm-hmm. Throws the ball and jars my finger. But as it happened... I felt my whole nail absolutely rip off, including Cute. my real one. Like to the nice. point where I could lift it up and see underneath my well, nail. What was under there? <laughs> it was ugh, blood. It was just a was lot it of blood. Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, but you Im- I immediately just do that thing where I'm like, because oh, if yeah, you're a girl. starts like deep breathing, <laughs> hyperventilating. Because it, it, I was in so much pain. Like, because my whole nail ripped off and my finger was jarred. Come to find out I was actually fractured. But like, dude, pain just like. Like to the point where I almost threw up a couple times. Like, yeah, she, I, did I the Sway Boys try to save you? No, Wendy Holder did though. Wendy, like, I went Wendy up to Wendy. Came I went to the rescue. I went, Wendy, my whole nail was ripped off. I don't know what to do. And she was like, first aid kit, let's go. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, so you're throbbing, you're bleeding, nails are off. What are you thinking in this moment? I think I'm going to throw up. Genuinely, I. Dude, she turned green in the face and like would look like, at Like, literally. Me and just like. Oh, Jared, this I'm is gonna, it. I'm gonna throw up. Like, and I was like, okay, let's find a bathroom. And then she would just like walk off, still like hyperventilating. I was oh, she s- does that. And then, have you ever been around Indy when she chokes on something? She's choking on something and just sprints in the opposite direction because she's like scared to be choking. But we can't save you if you go in the opposite direction. We tried to go to an emergency room that night because my nail was so far off. It risks infection, and it's not pretty when a lot of nasty yeah, shit not pretty when nails get infected like that so we're like let's just go to an urgent care and maybe they can give us some antibiotic to clean it out make sure it doesn't get infected whatever and at that point i started to like settle in and be like what if they have to take my nail off like what if they have to that's a form of effing torture dude all urgent cares were closed that night went to bed woke up in the morning and i had it like bandaged but i was like oh like i kind of like forgot about it while i was sleeping so i went to go pull up my pants from using the bathroom and absolutely flipped my nail off again. Like, oh, dude, oh. pain. So while Zach was gone, I was staying in their apartment because didn't I didn't know. ask me. Just like kind of took I over didn't. my room. <laughs> and now, You've got a bed and a TV. And now I my whole have- bed just smells like you. And I like to, like my whole day, I like to, like it's fun being around you. It's like, it's cool. And, <laughs> but when I go to bed, I don't want to be reminded of you. You know what I mean? I don't want to make up, <laughs> wake up in the middle of the night. I'm like, is Indy here? <laughs> it, it scares me a little bit. I was staying in there because I didn't have a bed or a TV. And frankly, you got a big TV and a comfy bed. So that's where I was staying for while he was gone. He went, <laughs> Say that slower. Whatever. Wake up in the morning. That happens. I race into Jared's room. He's half asleep. And I go, Jared, we need to go to urgent care. Jared, we need to go to urgent care. And he goes, I am. Where are we going? <laughs> he has a habit of just waking me up in the middle of my sleep. Wake me up. I do it almost every time you're asleep, I think. Yeah. <laughs> fucking annoying she did she did it last night because i was away for like a couple days and then for she hadn't seen me or you so she just comes over in the middle of the night breaks into our apartment and I go, dude hello yeah like zach and i have to be up <laughs> at 6 a.m yeah we'll get into that and she calls we'll, we'll get me. in there just wait, yeah, wait wait we'll get to that let me finish this broken finger story oh, yeah and then we'll talk about this so whatever he takes me to urgent care i'm in pain like i'm in pain i'm in pain, pain. <laughs> Anyway, in pain, go to urgent care. They're like, ooh, looks like we're going to have to remove the nail. And I was like. It's like the worst news. I said, okay, okay. Like trying to prepare myself, right? But due to COVID, Riley and Jared couldn't come back with me. So it was just me by myself. We'll put up a little bit of a clip of it, whatever. So oh, I yeah. FaceTimed them. They have to start injecting me with numbing agent into my finger, like with needles, <laughs> right? And for some odd reason, my finger wasn't numbing. So at this Just point, they put finger. They put six needles in my hand, in my finger at this point, and it just wasn't numbing. And I was bawling my eyes out like two three inch Kobe. needles just going in my freaking finger. Do you know how painful that is? No. And I don't want to know. The video proves it. Like, oh, sobbing. Dude, 
sobbing. And I'm like, oh, my mom. Like, absolutely sobbing like a kid, right? After. I want your mom too. After six needles, they go, actually, we don't have the the things that we need to remove this nail here. And your finger's not numbing. You're going to need to go to the ER. And I was like, six. So you did that for what? Go to the ER, wait for freaking hours for them to just be like, I think we can save the nail, but your finger looks a lot worse than I think you think it is. So they did x-rays. Turns out my finger's fractured. And then they cleaned it out. Who threw the, Who threw the football that hurt your hand? Jared, but I'm not mad at him for it. And because then who who crashed your car? <laughs> Shut the fuck Jared. up. No, I'm just seeing like Jared. why you hate her. Like it isn't. I broke don't. my finger, crashed my car, chipped my granite bench. Oh yeah, I forgot you did that. You also yeah chipped her kitchen. I don't counter. hate her. I just he's just no, clumsy. I'm just clumsy. No, yeah, the that's, football that, thing wasn't football, your fault. Yeah, the football thing that was my fault. We were <laughs> tossing football and we were like, and I was doing good. Wasn't she was doing really well. Guys had a spiral and everything. Yeah. Like it was like it was a clean spiral. She was catching it. She was throwing it well. And like we played. Don't look at me like I should be like, hey, good job. Yeah. <laughs> we, I never do anything I play. We were tossing it for like 10 or 15 minutes before this happened. Did you pretend she was your father you never met? And you're like, hey, this kind of feels good to finally play catch with someone or no? No, Zach. I don't have that hole in my heart like you do. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I've seen you cry. Um. <laughs> um, and that was basically that. Oh, I went to the ER. They gave me two more injections because they needed to put antibiotic in my finger to make sure it didn't get infected. So it was it was total of about eight needles in the finger in one day. Love it. I got oh. I got a few hundred FaceTimes that day. Absolutely, <laughs> me just bawling my eyes yeah. out. Oh, but while I was in the ER, my phone died, and I was there for like five. Oh, no, I was there for like, yeah, like five it was hours. Like four hours. Four hours, whatever. I was there for like four hours and my phone died within the first 30 minutes of me being there. So that was absolutely awesome. <laughs> and then she, I remember one point she calls me, like, it's finally all done. She's excited to tell me, but it's still hurting and like she's crying. And she's like, hey, Zach. Um, and then I, and I was like, hey, in a movie. Um, it was like <laughs> the first time I've been in a movie theater since COVID. So uh, I couldn't even call I, I couldn't and talk. be like, I did it. Well, I'm Dude. glad your finger feels better. It's throbbing right now. Gotcha, Every time bad. I accidentally hit it or anything, it just starts, th- like, I feel a heartbeat in it. Is like that your favorite d- finger? I You do your not really. Right, well, I'm right-handed. Finger. I'm right-handed. You have no idea how much you use your ring finger. I'll start just using these three fingers. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do. Washing your hair, awful. But I'm not even using this hand to wash my hair because I don't want to get soap in it and for it to sting. Like uh, Speaking of Super Bowl, I wanted to talk about. Can I just tell you one quick story? I didn't tell you before this is like it's not going to divert into anything um it was just funny indy like she started that story off like i don't know anything about football uh we're watching it and you know how her performed uh america the beautiful at the beginning (laughs) it was a great thing she's like wow that was amazing and then eric church and i can't remember the other girl's name uh performed the national anthem and indy goes what fucking song is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, I go, I <laughs> and literally everyone was just like, it's the national anthem. And she's like, what was the last song? <laughs> anyway, I hadn't told you that. I'm going to ask you to go home. I didn't know. <laughs> That's from all of America. I didn't know the difference. Okay. And I apologize. Anyway, let's talk about the guy with the crazy bet. <laughs> okay. So during the Super Bowl, you can make like, just a bunch of weird bets aside from the game. You can um, bet on how long the national anthem is going to go. You can bet on what kind of Gatorade, what color Gatorade they pour on the person. And um, you can also bet if there's going to be a streaker during um, the Super Bowl. Well, one guy bet $50,000 there would be a streaker, and then and then he was the streaker. So he just streaked himself, and um, he went to prison, which was $1,000 bail to get out. And But... Because of his bet, he made three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Holy shit! I thought that was a pretty, um, as Andy says, though? baller thing. That, to do. that guy illegal? scammed the no. system. But okay, I was watching this thing where it was like, okay, I was watching. I don't want to like give it away. I, okay, if you guys haven't seen Bridgerton yet and you don't want to be spoiled, just like block your ears for this next little part or skip over this part because I think I might spoil something. One of the families in the show make a bet on a boxing match, right? And they ask the the boxer to throw the match so he can win the bet. Well, that's different. That's like that's illegal. Yeah, that's illegal. This is like these are weird bets. Like you're betting there will be a streaker, and then you're the streaker. 
Is that allowed? Yeah, I mean, that's he a did guarantee it. that the bet's gonna happen. Though. I'm sure, like next year, they won't let it happen. Yeah, that was the point. That's why he bet fifty thousand dollars. Genius, though. That's a pretty good profit. Whoa, wait, I'm reading up on it, and he placed the bet through this company called Bovada, but now they're investigating each wager and voiding any of the streaker bets made by the guy or any other person that was involved in it. Dude, so that's stupid. He gamed oh. the system. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It doesn't make sense that he... Like, well, no, no. It should. You shouldn't be able to, but I feel like if there's no rule in place beforehand... He should have been able to. Yeah. But, but anyway. imagine if you bet on there being a streaker and you didn't know. How much money would you bet that Jared cries within the next month? What the oh, hell? I'd bet some money. Some money? 50K? I'd probably bet about 100. <laughs> wow. And I don't even have 100. What the hell, guys? What? So what do you think of me? I'm just a crier. But that. does he lose his 50 thou? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, like they can't take his money and then not give him. They the, should even get at least give him like a thousand bucks to get bailed out. <laughs> he was charged with misdemeanor trespassing. Which one of us would most likely be a streaker on a football field? One, two, three. We'll point. One, two, three. You think I would be a streak? Jared exact? would never. Dude, I could, but he, once he gets to that drunk level. Oh, wait. No, I Dude, when you would let your ding dong fl- Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you were dancing I on would top not. of tables at a club one time. But I am so self conscious about my but body, he, I would never take off my clothes. You don't have to take off your clothes. To be he, a streak, he, he didn't take off his clothes. He's he was a, wearing he was wearing shorts and a like a unitard thing. What are the odds you start OnlyFans? Zero. No, come on, give me like a one in thirty. <clears throat> what Guarantee are, you're gonna make fifteen k a month. <gasps> Jared, that's great. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> All right, ready? One in what? One, one, one in twenty? No, you said one in thirty. All right, one in thir- thirty. One, one two, two, three, three fifteen. Two. <laughs> oh man. I okay, let me go. What? No, I no. don't. <laughs> one in thirty. Come on. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> come on. I don't want to do this. Jared, that ding dong could get you some cash. My ding dong cannot pull Jared, in fifteen k a on. month. I would subscribe. Jared. <sighs> One, two, three, three 28. Ooh, okay. You didn't think he was going to go for his favorite number? Come on. I was going to say 12. I was just going for numbers that I didn't think either of you would pull. Oh, this is Val- Happy Valentine's Day. It is. Oh, that's why we're all dressed up. Is Valentine's Day on Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. This comes out on Valentine's Day? Yeah. yeah. I Valentine's Day. Hope you have a good day. I should have gone and gotten flowers. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sad if you're listening to this on Valentine's Day because you're probably not. Hey, you're like us. Don't tell them. It's oh, like, well, dude, call our audience <laughs> sad. <laughs> hey, guys. Right there with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> We're in the same boat. Well, Zach and I are right there with you. Jared oh, the Jared is going to be <laughs> probably kissing two girls. Nope. What if she has to Three. bring a friend in? Well, here's the thing. I don't even know. Right now, it's like a snowstorm. So it's like my flight could be canceled. I said, shave my legs for this and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jared's like, in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get it. Snowstorm, you might not make it. We'll figure it hey, out. Hey, we get it. You shaved your legs. We Dude, girls be- freak out so when they shave their legs. They're like, oh, remember in high school when like a girl would shave their legs? They'd be like, feel my legs. Oh, yeah. Every day. So Every day I was feeling a different girl's legs. It's like, come on, guys. <laughs> I never shave my legs, though, so that's why it's like a big deal. Oh, sometimes sometimes she goes <laughs> full mammoth. And it's like, yeah. sick. Um, I guess it is winter. Hope you're warm. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. I'll be walking around, and they're like, Indy, you haven't shaved in a while, have you? I said, mm-mm. They're like, planning on it? Mm-mm. Sometimes I think you're going like towards a movement because like it'll just be like no, it's just that like I get lazy and shaving. I've got long legs; it's a lot. Razors are about this big. Do you so get Do you get self conscious about your body hair? Like it's just a part of me. Like I I pr- like women that like are super confident into just letting it grow out. Like good for you. Like that's I'm amazing for you. I just feel more confident when I don't have body hair. That's just my thing. But also like. It's a lot of work to keep up with. Shave your legs, waxing, like, it's okay. all a lot. Jared, what are the odds you let Indy wax your entire body, no hair on it? God, I, that's a punishment to me. Okay, fine. I'll do the genital no, parts. I don't want. Um, what are the odds? Ready? Refuse. One and ten. Ready? One, two, three, seven. No. Come on, Jared. Let's go again. Ready? One, Wait, two, three, what, four. what are the odds you let me do one strip? Right now on the podcast. Do you have anything? Yeah. I hate this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, what? No, I'm it's not. It's Valentine's Day episode, man. What what are the odds you let her do that to you? Jared, we're not talking about me right now. Yeah, and we also, are. I I'm think talking little, about you right now. Don't be selfish for me. I'm I don't want to talk about selfish me. selfish for you. What are the odds you let her do that to you? One and two. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, two. <laughs> what did you say, four? Did you say four? I don't want to do it. You don't want to rip hair off me? No. That Dude, my legs you, are hairy. Yeah, it's going to put you guys in a lot of pain. I also don't want to just uh, but also, strip I, I mean, hair. I've got a super high pain tolerance, so I'm, I'm really used to it by now. Like, it doesn't hurt me. Cause I get like everything waxed. What does that like, mean? Everything. Does it hurt to get your, your hoo ha? 
to Jared. Now, who how X? Nah. I, I'm super, I've been doing it since I was like 14. But is it weird to just be fully exposed on a table to someone you do not know? No, because I know my waxer. W- what about the first time? Um, Were you like here? It had to be a little I mean, it was a, it's a little, it's a little uncomfortable. It's kind of like the first time you're like hooking up with someone. It's like a little weird. That intimate? Like, <laughs> meaning it's like awkward. Do you're you guys like, like talk about it? Like, how do you think it looks? No. I don't, I don't know. I'm just. It's, it's not, it's nothing weird. Like we're literally just gossiping. Like my, my waxer's name is Jessica. Super sweet girl. But like we just gossip the whole time. Okay. Next time, hear me out. Put two googly eyes at the top. And when she takes it off, she's like, ah, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Yeah. That would be, like, <laughs> like you that. take off the face. She's like, why do you have googly She's like, gotcha. They would not think that's funny. They'd just be like. That's what? Yeah, and then so you're like, okay, see, my that's, bad. That's, that's my what, bad. That's that, actually. I thought that would be a better joke. And they just. That's the difference between guys and girls. It's oh, like, dude. That's stupid. If Jared came what? in for a waxing for me and, and like you turn it into an elephant, I'd be like, that's funny, man. <laughs> I'd give it a good old college slap, move on with my life. Yeah, but that's the difference between guys and girls. <laughs> that's <laughs> not funny. If I was ever about to get with a guy and then like take his pants off and you see googly eyes, I'd be like, and that's my cue to absolutely get the got On here. your knees. Oh, okay. I feel like that's different. <laughs> like if I pulled down a girl's pants and saw a googly <laughs> eyes, be- I'd be like... <laughs> That would be the funniest thing in the world. I mean, it would. Be, I wouldn't be aroused, but no, I'd be no, like, yeah. "Yo, Coochie got personality. <laughs> Yo, Coochie got personification. <laughs> Yo, Coochie got opinions." Anyway, go ahead. Sorry about that. Whatever. It's not weird. <laughs> your Coochie, Coochie got, got opinions. <laughs> do you think your what? Coochie would vote the same way you do, or do you think it's like? What are we talking? I about? don't know anymore. Your sorry. Coochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get off talk this. About it anymore. Dude, but uh, okay. Honestly, you got a Coochie. Do you? Would you not? St- Store snacks for later, or how does that Zach, work? You okay, you're right. Get you're a right. yeast infection. Ah, uh, that's put only if you put there. bread up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could call Jared. That's why I never bring her to uh, Olive Garden. <laughs> Let's move on. I apologize. <laughs> I have something I need to talk about. What? What could you possibly have to talk about? I, I, podcast, Jared. Oh, now it's a podcast. <laughs> now we get to talk indie. Wait, do you guys we post this to- stuff? I thought this was just kind of like three guys. What if I never knew? I was like, I thought this was just us talking. I've said some very <laughs> heinous things. I think I'm ready to get canceled. What are we going to do for our one year? I think we should all adopt a baby. I say we get puppy? a puppy. Hive mind. Hive mind. <laughs> <laughs> I say we get a, a puppy and um, we get the fans to either vote on whether it's called bitch, no. milk, or swag. Hey, I, hey, <laughs> not, hey, it'll I'm be not <laughs> naming my dog milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll milk my dog, but I won't name it that. Oh. Oh, speaking but I of, say on our one year we get a puppy. Speaking of naming dogs, there was a, a person that DM'd me and they were like, they're like, hey, like I'm getting a dog, you know, whatever this week or whatever. And like, I would uh, love if you helped me name them. Here, <laughs> here are the list of names. And one of the names was Bear on there. And I was like, oh, well, obviously, like I'm partial to Bear. And they legitimately named their dog Bear. Oh, like, I named crazy. somebody's dog. That's crazy. And it was the cutest little, I think it was Oh, a I forgot them at my place. A fan gave, speaking of fans, a fan gave us gifts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it was so Rashani? sweet. Well, it's a, it's a box. We'll, we'll open it next Yeah. Week. Yeah, we'll open it next week. We haven't opened it yet. But. We're thinking about, do you guys want us to open up a P.O. box and you guys can send us stuff? I, I think, think it'd be kind of fun. I think we should. I think we it'd be need fun. to, yeah. Would, it, would we be able to run through yours or should we open up a separate one? No, you have to open up a separate one. But you guys can just put it at the same place I have mine. So every time I get mine, I can just pick up. Okay. Oh, that would be so much fun. So as you guys know, I'm from a very small town in South Georgia. You know, maybe a thousand, maybe less people in the town. Um, and I saw probably the most redneck thing possible on Facebook. They did this when I lived there too. Uh, it's called Cow Patty Bingo. Ew. What? Don't tell me that's what I think it is. It's Cow Patty Bingo. So basically they get like oh. a checkerboard on an open field and spray paint it. with, uh, And then each checkerboard has a number on it, um, each individual square. And you can buy a square for like 5 to $20. And um, everyone in the town gathers around this field. And then a cow uh, walks around. And wherever he poops, whatever numbered square he poops on, that person wins all the money. And I don't think I've heard of something more country than that. But I don't. <laughs> oh God, but nothing great. makes me more proud of my town. Well, than that. that's kind of great. You know how fun it would be to sit around and like wait for a cow to poop, and then just be like screaming, like "Come on, come on!" God, we were so close, dude. He pooped right next to twenty four. That is the epitome of that's a hilarious. community of people that have literally nothing have better. nothing. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We just got a um, Burger King, and then everybody's like, "Well, I guess we made it." Um, <laughs> so that's hilarious. Well, the first time my dad's town got a McDonald's, biggest. We don't even have that. Biggest talk of the town when he got 
when their town got like a McDonald's, dude, every teenager in their freaking every te- it was kind of just every teenager <laughs> was like running over there trying to get a job because oh like the God. only thing to do there, the only work you can do is either wait at like a restaurant. Work at McDonald's or like mine. If we all worked oh. at fast food restaurants, what fast food restaurants do you think we'd work at? Like for each other, like what should we pick? Currently. Dude, Jared looks exactly like a Subway man. Don't you think don't, so? Dude, I'm, you look like a sandwich I artist. I can't be the second Jared from Subway. Oh okay. yeah, you can. I've seen you oh, around kids. Zach. Oh dude, you're totally a Subway guy. I'm oh dude, with that Subway suit. Guy. Oh yeah, you would come into I the kinda... interview in that suit and be like, let's start slinging some ham. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. I think I'd work at. I see him McDonald's. Yeah. Zach, where would you work? I feel like I've got it in my head, but I'm going to let you guys. It just, you see my face and you see this brand, I feel like. Have you eaten there? I have eaten there often. They've thought. No, no, this is traditional. You eat there often? Domino's pizza. Don't look right. like, I look like I a Domino's eat, pizza guy, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You do, but dude, you I walk do up to the door, I got your pie for you. But like, dude, my hands. You do not eat it often enough for me to, for but, you to say often. Okay, well, watch this. Imagine this. Often. Hey, did you get the pepperoni? Couldn't you see me in front of your door? That's, as someone that worked at a pizza place, great for Go Wait, 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 Jared, I'm going to come to your door. Okay. Okay, I'm going to deliver you pizza. You rate it. Ready? Okay. Ding dong. Hello? Hey, hello, sir. Did you order this pie? Is this a this bad a- porn scene? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, this isn't porn, okay? Oh, sorry. This is me really delivering a pizza. Okay, I'll put my cock The only away. salami on this is actually oh, salami. Jesus. <laughs> Jared, your cock was out. I thought this was a porn. My bad. All right, I guess screw that idea. No, keep going. No, no, it's fine. <sighs> I just... If we're going to have sex, we should have sex and stuff. about <laughs> it. What? Considering this is a Valentine's Day episode, I thought it could be cool to either discuss our best, our worst, or our dream dates. Should we? Okay. Um, I guess I'll go first. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll so go first. So this was in high school. It was Valentine's- Is this your worst date? No, this is this was a good one. The best date. Just a date. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't categorize it. I don't even know if it was really a date. But um, it was Valentine's Day, and I really like this girl. And Valentine's Day was coming up. And, like, everybody's like, joking around. And we were talking. I was like, yeah. I mean, like, Valentine's Day is coming up. Like, are you? what are you doing? And, then, and, then, <laughs> and she's like, I don't know. I was like, I, I think the movies are going to be open if you'd want to go. And, and like, so she's like, yeah. I was like, and she was kind of nervous, too. And then I was like, well, I think we were, like, joking. Like, what would we see if we even went? And then there's, like, this really <laughs> romantic movie coming out. I forgot what it was called. But, and she's like, yeah, I mean, I would like to see that. And then I took her on a Valentine's Day date, but I still didn't know if it was a date because we were just friends and we were like sitting there and I was like, like, I didn't know whether to move the hand to hold it or not. Oh God. That was my favorite thing. Like at like younger going to movies with a guy and like the whole, like, like the hand holding thing or the like head on shoulder situation. Like the first date I ever went on with a guy was at a movie theater and he was like my first boyfriend. He was like my first kid for guys ever hold hands with like, dude, it was the, like, I remember my heart like beating out of my chest in that moment. I don't think I've ever taken a girl to the movies. What? What's oh, the cutest thing well, ever? To, f- to finish up, we never held hands and I, and I always regretted it. Thought she could have been the one, huh? What do you mean? Oh, it was it was Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to get too deep on this. Uh, <laughs> whoa. whoa. That was not the answer I was expecting. Nope. That's not what I meant. Well, this is weird. <laughs> I just went on a, a Valentine's Day date and it I took it out. What was the, Zach, what was the what's the worst date you've ever been on? Um, I went on a date after I don't know if you call it a date. We broke up and then we went to the same restaurant that um we got together at, like that she asked me out at. And and then we went there during like the breakup period, to almost, and then we ended it at like the same place that we started oh, it. Oh, and that's that was it was, it was it was it was a sad time for it's me. It's like you go that's there and you're dark. like oh, and then you're like oh, yeah, God, that's effed. Well, no, it, it it was like I mean it's it's kind of in okay, a way poetic. No, she, she already <laughs> poetic. she already broke up with me. I lived like five hours away, and I drove down to like see if she wouldn't break up with me. Um, and then. She still wanted to, so <laughs> it's uh, a little poetic. But a I, little bit, yeah. I stayed at her house for a few days because I had nowhere else to stay. Wow! And then I wrote her like this sixteen-page thing of like sixteen yeah, pages of like don't break up with me. You wrote a sixteen-page letter of like don't break up with Sad. me. It was it. That's dude, I was tragic. I was a young boy. That's true. And then I was just there, <laughs> and then like. She God. wouldn't hug me or kiss me, and then um, oh, that's the worst oh, feeling. Oh it? yeah, and then we went out to eat, and then it was like, yeah, th- obviously we're broken up. And I was like, sick. So you getting the chicken fingers? Was it? That yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Marsh side. Marsh side. Marsh. Places got some memories. It's very poetic, very tragic. Yeah, it was not fun. That you was... really wrote her a 16-page letter? Do you reckon she read it all? God, if Probably I was, not, if no. I saw a 16-page letter on my bed, I'm I'm reading the first and the last page to get the kind of like and I asked yes, <laughs> and, I, and I I asked her mom uh, I was like hey do you have any like notebook paper because I like stayed in this upstairs place away from like the family and I was like do you have anything notebook paper and I wrote it all and her mom liked me and she was crying and then the next oh, day she was crying too yeah the mom uh-huh. was crying and then the next day um the girl was not there and her little cousins were there um and they. Or maybe they're, yeah, I guess they're her cousins, were there. And they really liked me. And they called me, they called me, like, a cute, like, nickname. And um, and it was just the mom. She was on the couch. And the kids come up to me, like, right before I leave. And it's, like, all over. And, then, like, I tell the kids, I was like, hey, will you watch out for her for me? And they're, like, three years old. I was like, I, was like, I won't be here around much. Just make sure she's safe and okay. And, and then the mom is just crying on the couch. And oh then. Oh, God, that's the most gut-wrenching thing I've ever Heard. Yeah. I, like my heart just sank for you. And then I, I hugged the mom and I, I oh headed God, out. Zach, my heart just hurt for you then. It really does. I think I have that part on video with the kids. Oh, so Zach. Of course you do. Zach. <laughs> yeah. God, my, I'm sorry, but my heart is genuinely hurting for you right now. I mean it. I just, the minute you said, watch out for her, like, I'm not going to be here anymore. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, I was just like, Hey, that's got, sad. I was like, can you look after her for me? I just, I won't be able to for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jared. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you're ruining a moment. Okay. <laughs> should I tell you about my best and worst dates? Go for it. Okay. This is like my most like memorable date I've been on. Not necessarily like a, a good one, but it, it was, it was memorable, I guess. It was my first date. Like it was just like something that I think of a lot when I think of like, if I think of a date, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. What right. was your first date? I think I was like 13 or 14 years old. Like I was really, really young. Um, And my mom drove me to the date because obviously I didn't know how to drive yet. The guy was in a boy band and I was like, dude. dude what kind of first date is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically Niall was there. and uh... <laughs> So he was in a, he like lived in his own apartment with the rest of his bandmates. How it old was, was he? He was like 16. Okay, keep uh, going. And I was like 14. And I was like, oh my God. Older boy, like, lives in his own apartment, asking me out, like, it's crazy. Whatever. We go, I, like, never had my first kiss, never held hands with a boy, like, in that way before. Like, it, dude, heart p- beating out of my chest. But he's obviously 16, so he's a little bit older. Or maybe he was about to be 17, like. So he was, like, definitely older and, like, definitely had had his first kiss, right? So we go, I go up into his apartment. I, like, play with his dog for a bit. He goes... What is that? Is that a euphemism? I thought she was about to say, I play with his, and then it <laughs> no, went, like, I, with I, the D genu- syllable, and no, I was like. genuinely, he had a really cute little pug, <gasps> like a, a baby I pug, love adorable pugs. dog, adorable dog, and then he was like, so what do you want to do? I was like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't like, mind uh, being wined and dined, <laughs> and he was like, well, you want to just sit in my room? Huh. I was like, sure, so we just, like, sit there. And like we're on Snapchat testing filters, and it was the dumbest thing ever. And I was like, "This is great." He goes, "You want to go get Jamba Juice?" I was like, "Sure." And so you we like want to go get Jamba Juice. <laughs> so we walked, I'm wet just hearing that. So we walked <laughs> to Jamba Juice, and I think he was expecting like a kiss. Like I think he was expecting like I don't know us to share a moment. But like I, he like goes, he like leans into me, and I don't know whether it was like a hug or a kiss because I'm like so non familiar with this shit. I just go in for a hug, and the amount of time. So we we then we started dating. Whatever we were dating for three months before we had our first kiss because I just kept swerving him. Whoa, I, <laughs> dude, just kept swerving him the whole time. You know, for those three months, he kept going back to his friends like, like dude. I don't know. We're like, uh, we're dating, but I don't know if she I likes don't me. don't know if she likes me. Well, he never officially asked me to be his girlfriend. Like, our whole relationship never officially asked me to be his girlfriend until, like, he just, like, called me it. What, like kind, of, just, what kind of Jamba Juice did uh, he order? This is real important. This is important. This is, I don't know. I think he got, like, I get, like, mango passion. What did he get? Passion. See, that you insinuated you wanted passion with him, but what did he get? Mm. Okay, that says yeah, everything. I don't remember. He was, like, 
Strawberry. Well, just, just know if you got bananas in it, he wanted to do some things. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I honestly think he got like a strawberry banana. Yep. Thing. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to do some things. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to get you to unpeel that what? thing. Keep going. Regardless, helps um, with cramps. We've oh, been yeah. dating for like, th- but it, he never asked me out. I never got asked out. I've never actually been asked out. I feel like if you just like a- any relationship I've ever been in, I've never actually been like, "Will you be my girlfriend?" Like never. I don't think I've. I think it's important though. It's like first relationship I was with him for a year and a half, and it was kind of just like I mean we're dating, but it's like we don't have a date really. We never really had a date. Like we never really had like a. We just kind of picked one because like we're like oh, I was around this time, I guess. You didn't pick like your first date. No. Oh. We're like <laughs> I guess said, it was around oh, this time no. we decided to be official. So this day, and then like second one like he acted like the, the whole thing never happened not none of them have ever asked me i'm not realizing that and it, it's pissed me off like ask me to be your girlfriend what the hell so your first date was jamba juice and snapchat filters nice it was not a one <laughs> and, and we know ne- he never took me out on a dinner date after that like we never went on a dinner date what i've been on one dinner date my whole life one really date. mm-hmm so that was your Jared? most memorable date. That was date. my most memorable date. What was your worst date? date my or, worst date? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. What was his name? First and last? Uh, we had a, This is like our third date. So, like, we hadn't kissed yet, hadn't started dating, whatever. But my dad happened to be in town. And my dad's never in town, like, right? That is one of the biggest blessings, I'll say, in, like, my... God. One of the biggest blessings in, like, my adolescence is that, like during the time where I started to talk to boys or like hang with like hang out or go on dates, my dad was in the other side of the world and like couldn't do anything about it. He happens to be in town. It's like his like last couple of days here and I've been hanging out with this guy and he goes, I want to meet this guy. And I was like, dad, it's like our third date. You can't meet him. It's the third date. He goes, I don't care. I'm not going to be here on any of the others. So I have to meet him. Otherwise you're not going to go see him. And I was like, Dude, this guy's got to meet my dad, this biggest six foot Australian dude on the third date. Sick. That's sick. And so they meet and my dad was so weird and awkward about it. But my mom also like made him like do it as well because like, I don't know, it was so awkward. And it put the weirdest vibe in the room. Your dad meeting him on the third date. Yes, because like we, we don't even know what this. It would have been fine if we were dating at that point because totally understandable. You need to meet my dad if I'm like 14 and I'm dating you. Like I get it. Yeah, daddy meets but dad. That makes this sense. This is like, <laughs> but this is like the third date. What would That's you do if a girl sweet. was like, you got to meet my dad on the third date? I try to meet her dad on the first date. I yeah. like, I like, I do. I love meeting the parents. Yeah. No, 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 I know. But like, I didn't even know if he was that into me yet. That's so, but it's like fun. Cause it's like, you know, they don't like, it's like, and then you gotta like break down the bear. Hello, my da- sir. I don't think my dad's ever liked a single guy I've dated. But that adds up. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I've my dad, seen them. My dad's never liked a single guy I've dated. My mom. Like the girl I'm going to, well, I didn't meet her dad, but like on our first date, she was like, uh, I really drove her back parents? home. Do you make her call you father in bed or was that a different girl? Zach. I'm just a different asking. girl. Okay. Together, yeah. So on our first date, I drove her back home, and then like she was like, she's like, "Do you want to come inside?" And like, I really want you to meet my dog, and also I think my mom might still be up, and I want you to meet her. And so I like I met her mom on the first date. And, and what'd you say? I said hello. It's <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Were you hello. nervous? It's nice to meet you. Kinda. I mean, like, of course I was. was a her little dad nervous. there? Her dad was there, but he was asleep. You should have woken him. That would be hilarious. You <laughs> wake up. Hi. Just took your daughter out. Did not sleep with her. Thought you want to hear that. Um, probably will on the third date though. Um, just kind of how things go statistically. Um, great kisser. So I'm gonna jet. Wait. Um, <laughs> so. Whoa. She does have that wop. <laughs> um, I'm just joking. I am just joking. On an off topic. What was your either most memorable, best, worst date? Give us, give it to us. Well, I I took the girl I'm gonna go see. Our second date, we made that candles. Was super cute, by the way. Which I thought that was. I thought that was a really unique idea do you, you, do, do you guys drip them on each other afterwards Ew, have you ever right. done that no okay but the I way you planned it out like you were just what spat- the hell did your candle smell like <laughs> wait happiness eucalyptus rain and elder and then flower. she wrote happiness oh her. yeah but wait real quick i thought what was so cute about because you were telling us about like your idea for the day and you're like i think eh. and i was like oh that's really cute but like you planned it out so much to make sure that there was like a good restaurant you could like go to within yeah. walking distance through a park like it was so cute i didn't send her the actual address of the place i just sent her an address <laughs> to like the complex that it was in 
And she was like, when she showed up, she's like, I was really scared that you were going to take me to Sky Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine you took a girl? Hey, what's up, babe? You bring your own socks? <laughs> <laughs> I got mine. So I'm probably going to double bounce you. Because <laughs> she was like, she's like, I was really afraid <laughs> of going there. And I like, I was texting all my roommates and she's like, I don't know how to dress. And so she was wearing like a nice sweater, but she was wearing like leggings and like Nikes. On, <laughs> oh, she's on ready bottom. for that. She was pit. like, I don't know how to like, yeah, she was like, I'm going to be cute. But also like if we're going to sky zone, yeah, yeah you got to be practical here. Sky, I went to sky zone is zone. not a good day. I went place. to sky zone no. in like, um, I mean, when I first came to LA, I didn't really know what sky zone was. And my friends were like, well, yeah, you went go. with the Montoya twins. Mm -hmm. Isn't it weird that I know that? What? Well, that's one of the first, things of footage I saw was of you and the twins at oh, Sky Zone. Oh, right, yeah. right. I, I, wore, I wore like a black silk shirt and I didn't really know what Sky Zone like was. Like I did, but like I didn't. So I wore like a black silk shirt. <laughs> Stupid. One of the most memorable dates I've had was I took a girl out on the 4th of July mm. and we went to uh, this really nice park uh, back in Cincy and um, – had a little picnic, set out a blanket, had food and snacks and whatever. There was a fireworks show. There was live That's music. That's adorable. And then, yeah, we were, and then just like after everything like was done, like people left the park and then we were just like sitting there alone, just talking underneath like the little stars and whatever. Cause you can actually see the stars. Is that when you had coitus in public? Nope. Different time. It, what, <laughs> that did happen, right? I did, yeah. At, <laughs> at the same park. Okay, okay. I was just about to say, wasn't it at the same park? It was at the same park. Jerry gets freaky at some parks. Different girl, though. Did you lose your virginity in a park? No. no. I left my. I lost my virginity in, in my bed. Oh, I remember Chipotle. <laughs> That's because, disgusting. Well, no, way. my mom. So the Chipotle, we never actually got to it last week. My mom came home about five minutes after I had lost my virginity. But had you guys we eaten were, the Chipotle yet? We were eating the Chipotle in the Just kitchen. Just sweaty. And yeah, basically. And she was like, she's like, oh, what have, what have you guys been up to? I said, Did you say spicy? Nothing. I said, we just got Chipotle. That was, that was all they said, but Hilarious. that was the Chipotle Did part. you ever, t how long after that did you tell her that you lost your virginity? I didn't tell her until I was 19. Mom, remember that one time I was eating Chipotle? I really just had my cocks out. My worst date was... Um, I've only been, I've only been on one Tinder date and one Bumble date. The Bumble dates were fine. Well, the FaceTime <laughs> date. Um, oh God, actually, yeah. You were smoking her the, again? The no. After then? Uh, no. Um, so I guess technically two Tinder dates if you count the FaceTime date. But, uh, the first one, the girl looked about 40 years older than her pictures. Um, it was very Oh, wait, awkward. didn't you say you just walked out? You saw her and walked out? A little bit. Um, you didn't even have the date, did you? So you stood her up. She was 60. Dude, so. you stood her up, didn't you? She's basically 60. And then, so you stood a girl up. Uh, listen. No, he went. I, I, you just didn't stay long. I messaged her afterwards. Hey, said, I saw what you looked like and I left. Not, I didn't say that. Well, that's what happened. Did you really walk in and like... Saw her and went. Jared said, Dude, oh no. I, yeah, I just like, it wow. was bad. You can not learn to love her personality. Did you walk in and went, not my <laughs> best I just didn't Dude, I've, I've been in kiddie pools that are deeper than you. <laughs> that sense, that sense isn't like that. wrong at all, but it sounds, feels sounds wrong. bad. I just realized that I, <laughs> I have taken a girl to the movies, except it was kind of like a, it wasn't like a theater. I took a, my uh, only Bumble date I've been on, I took a girl to, there's a, uh, this thing called a fucking hell, my camera. There's this uh, there's this company called Rooftop Cinema Club in L.A. where like literally you're on top of this really nice rooftop and then they project a movie onto like the side, side of, of the, the building. building. And I had never seen A Star Is Born. <laughs> no. Wow! Oh, and no. I thought that movie. I thought oh, it was a no. cute little romantic movie, and I was like, no. "Let's go see that." She had never seen it either, and we're watching it. We're watching Bradley Cooper. <laughs> You're and emotional. Wait, spoiler too. alert! If you haven't oh, seen yeah. it, like skip about a minute. Yeah, we're watching Bradley Cooper and uh, Lady Gaga fall in love and whatever. And then the dude kills himself at the <laughs> dude, end. Dude, it's a gut-wrenching movie. Dude, the and moment he killed himself is the moment you killed your chances of anything intimate. Dude. Oh, oh immediately you're just like. My God. As soon as I was realizing what happened, I was like, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude, and, it's gut-wrenching. And the thing was, it was like the day was going so well before that. And then we, like, went down. I walked her back to her car. And you're just like. Dude, we didn't even hug. <laughs> we barely said goodbye. And that was the last time I talked to her. Well, because it's like, dude, what? Or, actually, I've had a situation like that. Um, Like, we had barely started dating. Like, we were just kind of, like hanging out and like the movie that we wanted to see um had sold out or neither of us were 18 or something or i think we were both like, like rated R or yeah something. i think neither of us could get in right and they're like the only one we could get in or the only one that was available at that time was like this weird action movie i think it was jason jason born or something oh what the hell <laughs> it was like but like it was, it was like Jason Bourne 3 or 2 or something and neither of us had seen the first one or two movies and you said let's wing it and so we went I, yeah, yeah. So we like went in, and then we like it was just we were both just like not into it. We were just at sitting all. there going, "Do you want to leave?" And he was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah." And so we just like walked out, and then did like, it was weird. It just made bad movies or like sad like things like I that. I think you saw the Jason Bourne that's with um like the new Jeremy one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Like the it first was, three Jason Bourne. It was like with Matt could Damon. Get it? It was probably about three or four years ago. Yeah, yeah. it was that one. It was the remake. It, dude, so the first, the originals? I'm sure they were good. I'm sure the first originals were good, but the one that I saw, like, we knew nothing about, we, and it was sucked. We just sat there, and we were <laughs> like, and we just, like, but, but also, like, we were expecting, we wanted to watch, like, a scary movie or, like, a, a romantic movie because, like, whatever, and we were just sitting there, and just people were fighting, and we are just like, do you want to go? And he was like, yeah, I've been wanting to go. <laughs> and, like, we left, but, like, we did nothing after that because it was too late to do anything. I'll save my um, movie experience. For, oh. for another oh. podcast. Oh, we know all oh. about that movie experience. Yeah, we do. Okay, wait. Before we get into fan questions or lack thereof, there wasn't many fan questions this week that we hadn't already answered or that maybe we had answers on. So I thought maybe it could be cool to just like maybe look up some like relationship questions and we could talk about that or like, I don't know, anything. Because we don't really have questions to talk about this Oh, it's time to drink water. Jared, I, I hope know. you go, fall. Go, chug, chug, do it. Just chug, drink. Go ahead. Drink that go. water, you gotta finish Jared. That. Yep, finish it. Yeah, Jared, drink that yep. liquid. Mm-hmm. Let it go down your throat. No, it's weird. It's taking what? No, long. I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, keep oh, drink it. Finished. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good good boy. Why are you saying good boy? I, I don't know how to do this. Um, I don't know. I don't know how questions are going to work this week, folks, because we didn't have any that we could necessarily answer this week. So, um... Get real weird and get real creative on your questions for next week's podcast because we've kind of answered a lot of the ones that we have so far. Yeah, that's the thing is it's like like we got a lot of questions, but a lot of them were a lot of the same questions that we've answered on previous podcasts. And I know if like you're just joining us, like at episode, it's hard to like be like. Yeah. Yeah, what what like, if what if you guys went on a date right here and I was the waiter and we filmed that, and put it in part of the episode. Oh my god, that would be so funny. That would be so funny. Or what if I it was mean, yeah, or what if down. it was me and Jared? That'd be funny too. Yeah, and I'll wait. Dude, I Or, or wait. no, what if we do it like we'll do five minute increments of like everyone? Like we'll just interchange and like one person's a waiter, one per I think that'd be pretty funny. That would be pretty Regardless, funny. Regardless, I think that would be And then hilarious. whoever's whoever's waiting has five minutes to like make something real quick. Yeah. And that'd be that'd it. be pretty funny actually. <laughs> Should this be like a next week episode thing? I don't be, know. We'll figure it out after this. That would be really funny. I think it'd though. be hilarious uh, if we did that. Of like relationship questions. Have you ever read that study of the uh, the thirty six questions that lead to love? Yes, I have actually. I've always like I've been so intrigued by that. Like if that Look actually up the questions. works. Since. Look up the questions and we'll each pick one from the list and ask each other. I want number nineteen. Okay. Zach, what number do you want? Twenty four. Jared, what number are you picking? 11? No. <laughs> no, I'm going to do a different one now. I was not going to do 11 because I looked at what 11 was and you would not. That's not a good question. I'll do <laughs> uh, I'll do 32. Okay, go. Okay. If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, you would, would you change anything about the way you're living now? Oh, I'd change completely everything. Like what? I'd stop doing things for other people and just live for myself and for experiences. I'd sell everything I own, go travel, see the world, do everything that I wanted to do, get the tattoos that people say are stupid, just go do everything, stop caring. Be like the 85-year-olds of the world that just don't care and just go live my life. So you're basically an 85-year-old. Living like Larry. Yeah, you're an 85-year-old with energy. Hell yeah. Dude, I'd go 
swim with sharks. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> Terrifying, but she I've dies always wanted to do that. She dies the first day. It's like, <laughs> oh, man, she had a whole year. That's she cool. really took herself no, out. No, like, I've, I've always wanted to go swimming with the sharks in, like, the Bahamas or, like, the pigs in the Bahamas. Or I've, like, really wanted to go bungee jumping because why not? Like, I've, I love water parks. I'd probably go naked at a water park. Like, why not? Well, that seems a little... <laughs> you're a bit like, water parks up oof. anyway hygiene. i don't know i just want to live my life what would you guys do differently i mean pretty much the same thing you know it's like if i had a year left i wouldn't be i wouldn't feel constrained to the way that i'm living now i would also hire a documentary team to document the last year the last year of and my call life. it the last year yeah that's nice. cool I like that. And just have it all on film every day, doing something different, or even if it's a nothing day, just like. Um, I would spend as much time as possible with the people that mean the most and make sure everyone around me um, Taken care of. feels a little bit better that I was here. Oh, that's so sad. That's really cute, though. All right, let's look up. So that's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? How do you feel about Gina? Zach, love Gina. We we do not agree on almost anything, and that's fine. Um, but you know, I think it's me and her against the world. That's how it is with single mothers. Yeah, you know, our relationship definitely got better once we moved. To, we're better now that we live in different states. Not that we were like anything bad, but living under the same roof, we had our differences. Um, they were never big differences, but yeah, it's my mommy. So Jared. Dude, I love my mom. My mom's like my You've best friend. You've got like friends. 10 of them though. Mom's. Okay, my birth mom is like, she's like my best friend. Cause like, you mean the one that bought you off a shelf? Whoa. <laughs> oh my Dude, you God. were purchased. You were purchased oh, just like. That's hilarious. Like a honey baked ham at Walmart. Dude, that's Dude, hilarious. The reason you're alive is because her credit card wasn't declined. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, imagine going to buy a baby. It's like, ah. I'm sorry, <laughs> Jared. That's probably one of the funniest jokes he's ever Holy made. Holy shit. The reason you're alive is because your mom's... credit card didn't get declined. Dude, imagine being on this earth because your mom had to go down to the bank and get a cashier's check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. You just played my whole existence. That's hilarious. Holy Sorry about that's... that. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> God, that couldn't be funnier. All right. Wow. Indy, how do you feel? How's your relationship with your mother? No, my relationship with my mom is... No, I love her so much. We, she's definitely, we're both very headstrong people. So, you know, moving out was definitely going to help us, like, with that mother-daughter relationship. Because we also work together so much. So much. So, but I love my mom. She's always, like, had the best intention in everything she does and supports me more than literally anyone in this world. I'll catch it. <laughs> what the? F Wait, did it hit your finger? Oh, that was not my intention at all. Your house containing everything you own catches fire. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? Mm, my computer. I was about to say my computer. My entire life yeah, yeah, yeah. is on my computer. Pictures, but all the scripts I've written, like everything's on there. So I'd have to be on computer. I have a special box back in Australia and it's filled with my great grandpa. This is the dumbest thing, but it's super, I don't know why it means so much to me. My great grandpa bought me a porcelain doll. And it's, like, been in my special box. But, like, I've also got so many photos of my childhood that haven't been digitalized in my special boxes. Yeah. Riley, what would you say? Probably my phone. Just because everything's on my phone. Not like your everything, computer? Like, picture. No, I have more on my phone. Oh, okay. My computer, I just use for school. I don't need any of that. I do. We didn't really get any questions. I do have one meme, though. Go, <laughs> Let's go. check the meme. I expect to laugh. Indy looking for a reason to fight with Zach. I love the video memes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is accurate. I, and and yeah. it's just me always like, for what reason? Anyway, that's, that's all, right, well, all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you stay till the end, DM me a picture of your dad. Um, everybody DM me a picture of their mom last week, Did and I really? love them. Uh, I've got all the pictures on my wall. Oh. oh. Well, well in, in case I get horny. Oh, oh right. God. Thank oh, sorry, you guys, guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. We will see you guys next week on Sunday. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jared Music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram Allegedly. at Dropouts Pod on. Oh, that's my bad. I <laughs> forgot that you were here. Yeah. That's Riley Lewis. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we will see you guys next week for another episode. And then Jared's opening up his OnlyFans soon, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah.
Bye.